It is Monday, February 1st, 3.41 p.m. We're going to read Liber 13, Vel Graduum Montis Abiagni, a syllabus for the steps upon the path, AA publication in Class D. Let not the failure and the pain turn aside the worshippers. The foundations of the pyramid were hewn in the living rock ere sunset. Did the king weep at the dawn that the crown of the pyramid was yet unquarried in the distant land? There was also an hummingbird that spake into the horned serasts and prayed him for poison. And the great snake of Chem, the holy one, the royal Uraeus serpent, answered him and said, I sailed over the sky of new in the car called millions of years, and I saw not any creature upon Seb that was equal to me. The venom of my fang is the inheritance of my father, and of my father's father, and how shall I give it unto thee? Live thou and thy children as I and my fathers have lived, even unto a hundred millions of generations, and it may be that the mercy of the mighty ones may bestow upon thy children a drop of the poison of Eld. Then the hummingbird was afflicted in his spirit, and he flew unto the flowers, and it was as if naught had been spoken between them. Yet in a little while a serpent struck him that he died. But an ibis that meditated upon the bank of Nile, the beautiful god listened and heard. And he laid aside his ibis ways and became as a serpent, saying, Peradventure in an hundred millions of millions of generations of my children, they shall attain to a drop of the poison of the fang of the exalted one. And behold, ere the moon waxed thrice, he became an urious serpent. And the poison of the fang was established in him and his seed even forever and forever. Liber 65, Chapter 5 1. The Probationer His duties are laid out in Paper A, Class D, being without, they are vague in general. He receives Liber 61 and 65. Certain probationers are admitted after six months or more to Ritual 28. At the end of the probation, he passes Ritual 671, which constitutes him a neophyte. 2. The Neophyte. His duties are laid out in Paper B, Class D. He receives Liber 7. Examination of Liber O, Chapters 1-6, through 6, Theoretical and Practical. Examination in the Four Powers of the Sphinx, Practical. Four tests are set. Further, he builds up the Magic Pentacle. Finally, he passes Ritual 120, which constitutes him a Zelator. 3. The Zelator. His duties are laid out in Paper C, Class D. He receives Liber 220, 27, and 813. Examination and Posture and Control of Breath. See Equinox No. 1, Practical. Further, he is given two meditation practices corresponding to the two rituals, 671 and 120. Examination is only in the knowledge of, and some little practical acquaintance with, these meditations. The complete results, if attained, would confer a much higher grade. Further, he forges the magic sword. No ritual admits to the grade of practicus, which is conferred by authority when the task of zealotor is accomplished. 4. The practicus. His duties are laid out in Paper D, Class D. Instruction and examination in the Kabbalah in Liber 777. Instruction in philosophical meditation, Janana Yoga. Examination in some one mode of divination, e.g. geomancy, astrology, the tarot, theoretical. He is given a meditation practice on expansion of consciousness. He is given a meditation practice in the destruction of thoughts. Instruction and examination and control of speech, practical. Further, he casts the magic cup. No ritual admits to the grade of philosophers, which is conferred by authority when the task of the practicus is accomplished. 5. The philosophers. His duties are laid out in paper E, class D. He practices devotion to the order. Instruction and examination and methods of meditation by devotion, bhakti yoga. Instruction and examination and construction and consecration of talismans and in evocation, theoretical and practical. Examination and rising on the plains, Liber O, chapters 5 and 7, practical. He is given a meditation practice on the senses and the sheaths of the self, in the practice called Mahasati Pathana. See the Sword of Song in Science and Buddhism. Instruction and examination and control of action. Further, he cuts the magic wand. Finally, the title of Dominus Liminus is conferred upon him. He is given meditation practices on the control of thought and is instructed in Raja Yoga. He receives Liber Mysteriorum and obtains a perfect understanding of the formulae of initiation. He meditates upon the diverse knowledge and power that he has acquired and harmonizes it perfectly. Further, he lights the magic lamp. At last, Ritual 8 admits him to the grade of Adeptus Minor. 6. The Adeptus Minor. His duty is laid out in Paper F, Class D. It is to follow out the instruction given in the vision of the Eighth Ether for the attainment of the knowledge and conversation of the Holy Guardian Angel. Note, this is in truth the sole task. The others are useful only as adjuvants to and preparations for the one work. Moreover, once this task has been accomplished, there is no more need of human help or instruction, for by this alone may the highest attainment be reached. 
All these grades are indeed but convenient landmarks, not necessarily significant. A person who had attained them all might be immeasurably the inferior of one who had attained none of them. It is spiritual experience alone that counts in result. The rest is but method. Yet it is important to possess knowledge and power, provided that it be devoted wholly to that one work.